Changes to short-term rentals are part of a series of decisions made by the Portland City Council last night. Yeah, among other issues, councilors passed new regulations on Airbnb-style rentals. New Center Maine's Alex Haskell explains the new rules and has new reaction from the community. Preserving Portland's long-term housing stock was really a, a key goal. Monday night, Portland City Councilors unanimously approving a new cap on the number of Airbnb-style rentals in the city. And that uh, number that we ended up with was 1.5%. This means 1.5% of Portland's roughly 18,000 rental units are allowed to be short-term. Right now, that adds up to about 270 units, fewer than the previous limit of 400. City councilors say current landlords won't lose their licenses. It's a great start. Wes Pelletier is an affordable housing advocate. He says the change is good for everyday people. Our families around Portland, especially our working class families, are being hollowed out and being forced to move. Um, because of these short term rentals that are really taking up a lot of the housing stock that should be going to renters. In the wake of this vote, owners of short term rentals are pointing out that they're a major part of the local economy. The main office of tourism uh, estimates that nearly three quarters of a billion dollars is spent by uh, visitors to the greater Portland area who stay in vacation rentals. Chris Corzin says he's not necessarily opposed to the new cap, but would prefer to see it at around 2% of the total rental stock, as suggested by one city councilor. All in all, I think on balance, it's a great uh, uh, synthesis of a lot of different ideas. In addition to the rental unit cap, councilors also approved two affordable housing projects. In Portland, Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine. And on the other hand, the council halted an effort to put a minimum wage increase on the November ballot.